storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. So what is up, storm chasers? I want to get right to the gossip that we got to talk about today. All right. First things first, we got to talk about Buster Rhymes. He was seen in New York City uh, uh, during Pride Month outside of some gay clubs with what looks to be a transgender and another man, or maybe maybe that's not a transgender. The streets were saying it was a transgender. Y'all tell me. You know, nowadays I can't really tell what's what and who's who. But the the late the the ladies that he st- the okay that's a man on the far. Uh, what he's standing walking behind it, uh, it appears to be a woman. But y'all saying on the streets that this was apparently outside of some gay club and that this was a transgender. And now y'all dragging Buster. Y'all call him Buster B- uh, Bussy, Badussy, Badussy Rhymes and all that shit. And I really don't see why y'all doing that. You know, I did I did a little digging. And apparently the club that he had just left out of was a club in New York City called Dreams. There was some kind of shooting either in that club or around the area. And he was actually kept inside the club by police for his own security. And and then release later. So, you know, if he happens to be walking out and just be walking next to somebody that is gay or transgender, I really don't see what the big issue is. I, I, I didn't really, you know, I didn't bring this up except for the fact that people was bringing this up and making this a big deal that he happened to be walking next to a transgender or a gay person. I really don't see what the whole big deal is, but I guess y'all in the streets thought it was a big deal. I guess y'all in the streets trying to insinuate that the man is down low. Y'all trying to insinuate that he did this and that he did that. Hell, I don't know, but I will tell you this. There are a lot of men in hip-hop and the rap industry that is down low you know about 60 to 70 percent is pretty much how they all get down and that's how you do record deals and i ask out all the time if you just suck a dick for a record deal is you really gay or no if you just let the brown suits pop you in your booty to get you know certain stuff done or to get a billboard award or get the oscar to get the email to get this to get that is that gay i don't know y'all tell me now just him performing in in pride parade shows that does not make him gay that makes him smart because at the end of the day when you are a business owner you know that the LGBTQIA+, plus, as well as women, are your best consumers and customers and will keep you highly paid for life. And so, I end this by saying, I don't see nothing suspect about Buster just walking in the street and just happen to be next to a trans person or a gay person. Leave it alone. If y'all really trying to say this man is down with the brown, then y'all need to give us some more proof than that. I'm not buying this shit. Moving right along, we got to talk about Gary Owen and Kenya Duke. All right, I ain't calling her uh, Kenya Owen no more because it is clear that she... And Gary are never, ever, ever getting back together. Uh, you know, I was trying to look through pictures on Google and find one that I thought was fitting. And I said, why not take a trip down memory lane? I love to take those trips down memory lanes just to see where they was and where they at now. They probably would have never thought they'd be here today, but here they is. And so I'm looking at this picture here, this wedding picture from, you know, 17, 18 years ago or whatever. Honestly, they both pretty much look the same. You know, put on a little weight now with age, age just a tiny bit. But honestly, they both look look good why they don't want to work their relationship out they both good looking people do 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 you I, I don't i don't understand you know they they do say that gary owen and you know got in the gym and got his body together now his body ain't completely together he looks like somebody who well like he said himself he works out but he likes to eat a steak at the same damn time so he but he looks good for his age he's out here kicking it getting it dipping it doing it uh apparently he said that he is for the streets and it just sounds like he's going through some kind of midlife crisis gary owen said he did cheat on Kenya. Kenya said that he did cheat on her. Gary Owens said there is a twist in his divorce. Wendy Williams asked, was there a baby involved? And he said no, but I'm trying to figure out what is the twist. If it ain't a baby, if Kenya didn't cheat, what is it? We want to know. Now, when Gary went over there to Wendy Williams' show, he kept it very a professional he tried to keep it short sweet and to the point but while he was talking to wendy he definitely forgot to talk about his music another thing too let's talk about this real quick why was wendy williams trying to throw that old uh, vagina over there on gary owen as if he wanted it wendy i do have to let you know just because this man likes black women doesn't mean that he likes you i don't know why you thought that he would even be attracted to you wendy he gave you no plan you just continue to embarrass yourself the more and more you threw yourself at a man that did not want you now wendy you did say that your therapist said that you are intimidating to men. Now, you may be bigger than the standard man and hover over him and your titties may be bigger than his head, so he feels like you may suffocate him if you try to lay in your chest and go to sleep, but what I do want to tell you, Wendy, is that I don't feel that you are intimidating to men. I feel that you just, you you might just be strange, you know? I mean, I would never forget how I heard on how you like to show that shave coochie to men that you want to get with. You know, you run game on every man that you meet. You 
truly learn from Kevin Hunter. You know how to run game. You know how to get what you want. And you're very aggressive with it at the end of the day. You know, but I did hear that your coochie was shaved and very pretty. And your skin looks really tight and right and smooth under them clothes. But anyway, Gary wasn't biting the fish. He didn't want it. He don't want to go to dinner with you. He don't want to sleep with you. He don't want to hear from you in the back of the car. He don't want to hear from you behind the studio, behind the dumpster. Or by no 7-Eleven for a little bit of crack. He don't want no, he don't want nothing from you, period. He don't, I'm sorry. You are not his type. I truly believe that he's about to go back to the white because he didn't got everything that he needs out of the black. That's just my honest opinion. However, all right, Kenya, after seeing the Gary Owen, Wendy Williams interview, she did respond. So let me actually pull up her post. And I'm going to read this. Uh, let's see. Do I actually have it? Uh, no, I'll add it in. Maybe. Okay. She said, Gary, while I am not... Pressed, I am highly irritated. I keep telling myself I will no longer respond to any actions or untruths because I am better than that. But the truth, I guess, I am not. You talk about me all the time on stage and in conversations. It gets back to me. Well, Kenya, of course it gets back to you. You have been this man's content for the last 20-some years. Without you, he would not be where he's at today. And not even you as a person, just being able to say that he's married to a black woman and has missed kids. That has been the butt of his joke for the longest. I'm just saying. But this mockery was too much. First, I would like to say something nice. I thought you looked great. They prepped you well. And I'm very happy for the movie. Well, you should be happy for the movie, Kenya. That's more money for you however i was shocked you spend most of your time talking about me the divorced son and daughter if the streets are that good to you then why waste that opportunity and not talk about upcoming projects club dates and what you are learning in the streets as an older guy maybe finding out what the host likes to do since she was obviously interested now kenya i do kind of wish you would have dragged Wendy the way that you drag claudia but i understand you know you you know you drag who you want to that's your business i will say this though all this shit about being being an old lady at the club or an old man at the club, in my opinion, it does look a little pitiful. However, I truly do feel that this is a midlife crisis that Gabriel will come to regret later. But I could completely be wrong. Um, you could have shut it down with that's my past. I ain't focused on my future. Why didn't you? Because you want my attention. And you know somebody will send it to me. Your public relations machine sent you to the show for damage control regarding being a deadbeat, but thought they would sell it as you were there to talk about the movie. Did you ever get to the movie? As a matter of fact, no. He talked about Kenya, the kids, the divorce for about nine minutes, and then Wendy threw that, tried to throw that thing on him, and then he finally got to the movie in the last couple minutes of the damn uh, show because we all know that he was not there to talk about some movie that we're going to forget about in seven to ten uh, uh, months. He was there to talk about this divorce that's going viral. Why the hell you fuck ass celebrities get on these shows and, and know that we want to team know that we're going to ask you. You know, if you would just come prepped with giving us a little bit of the tea, you could have actually spent five minutes talking about your own business and then five minutes going back to your movie, your real business. Um, did you ever get... Uh, blah, 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 blah. All right. Um... Being a Debbie and, of course, Claudia, the, the show chose a few questions. When the random question about cheating was asked, there just happened to be a picture of Claudia ready for the screen. So convenient. You also used his time to tell a seven-year-old story about flying to a basketball game. Oh, my God. You don't have one current story about a conversation or experience with your son. Did you tell her about a couple months ago in April canceling two days before your child was supposed to meet you in Baltimore, but you lied and that all and said that all shows were canceled so your child couldn't come? Blah blah blah. Look, um, all right, I'm not gonna read all that shit that King has said. Basically, this is where we at. Gary's ready to move on. I truly feel that Gary has found somebody else. He's done with Kenya and he's over Kenya. Now, is he over over Kenya? No. Has the true uh, uh um uh has the gravity of the situation hit? Gary yet, no, typically for men, it does not hit them right away because, well, men immediately go from one vagina to another. They throw themselves into another relationship to try to forget the last. And then about nine to 18 months, and he'll really realize what he had. The memories will come rushing by, and he may feel feelings of regret, or he may say F, F it and never look back. Typically with the woman, she's going to go, she's going to feel the feelings of the divorce, the death of it all right away. You're going to see physical changes. You're going to see her really hit depression and be angry and go through all the stages of grief and then in about a year year and a half you're gonna see her living her best life just like kevin hart's ex-wife it is what it is but i tell y'all one thing i'd be damned if i spend 20 some years with you and then now you telling me you leaving me you leaving me to go where hell no nah, you ain't going nowhere sit your ass down sit your ass 
down. You're not going nowhere. And that's just how I feel now. Moving right along from that, we need to talk about Chloe Alexandria. Steven ass Kardashian, you are the alleged Kardashian. But what we can say is you did not allegedly steal this design from this black girl. You stole it. You know, you got all mad at Jordan when, you know, Tristan stuck his Jamaican tongue down her throat. Put them big ass feet on top of her, knocking all over her, you know, knocking her down to the couch was not needed, a uh, 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 bent over ass. Anyway, uh, Khloe Kardashian has a clothing line called Good American that she founded with a black European, a black English designer. Uh, well, you know, the black girl did all the work from Chloe, uh, slapped her name on it and, and made the money. You know what was funny about this Good American line that Khloe Kardashian said that it was for curvy women because pants are so hard to find for women with curves and i'm like the ones that you bought are women that are actually born with curves because you know the last time i checked when you do get bbls and get your ass uh, uh 50 inches in a waist that's 19 inches and a hip that's too big for your fucking body then you know typically anything you get off the rack is gonna be too big for you but good business plan nonetheless anyway when it came to these designs right here these sequins that you see in the swimsuit swimsuit allegedly chloe stole all that is from a designer called destiny blue but let me tell you how chloe and her team stole from this black lady now you know you've been stealing niggas from black women for a long long time you know you've been you've been i mean the thievery of it all i mean even the kardashians themselves take shit and claim it as they own that they know they shouldn't only to ruin it and, and it not be as good as it was before they got their hands on it. oh god y'all got the, the mouth the pussy and the asses of death except you're not a kardashian you are a girl dan so maybe if somebody go in your box they don't get that spell but you know your mama taught you how to put them gin jars in the basement so i'm sure you do know what in the fuck that you your ass is doing chloe chloe why you out here still stealing you mean to tell me there is no originality from y'all at that point how in the hell can business women who are part-time witches and, and 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 have manufactured faces and bodies not do no spell for no damn creativity you go go down in that kitchen and berries and and, and, and and get some chicken bones and boil them and sacrifice a goat all right to the god to your deities whoever the hell you serve and, and, and pray for some creativity to come up into your household and not all this damn thievery and stealing you know you are the definition of a colonizer quite frankly i don't even really think you need no witchcraft to get done what you need to get done because i mean you just move like a european you you still kill destroy put that disease pussy on them and then take something as yours that it wasn't but anyway the way that chloe did this was she would send her team and her assistants to destiny and say oh my god i want to wear your swimsuit oh your swimsuit is so lovely let me wear it in the picture much much like whenever chloe and ken was inviting black girls around to their house you know black hood ass girls that they really scared of that they know will whoop they motherfucking ass if they get if they get out of place to take pictures with them and pose in a bathroom like that to toot that ass up mm -hmm. we remember that shit came out how you was friends with china but you was only friends with china for a little tiger got around kylie and you know we need surviving tiger any moment that moment now because kylie wasn't up before 14 15 16 motherfucking years old but anytime a kid rides the pole at the age of nine or ten, you already know where the hell she's headed in life. And hell, where is Kylie? What basement did they put her under? Did they put her in a basement or a hole in the floor with Olivia Post Mama? Because this new face, somebody you ain't fuck me, you fuck the old body, you ain't fuck me. No, go about it. This definitely ain't Kylie, Chris, and Jen. I don't know who it is. I mean, it's, it's a smoother version of her daddy, Caitlyn. But, you know, I ain't got nothing to say bad about Miss Mamas. Anyway, um, uh, 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 so what Chloe's team was doing was borrowing different pieces from Destiny. Oh, my God, I love it. Let me get this. Let me get that. Let me take a picture with this. Let me take a picture for that. It's for the gram. It's so lovely. And then what they would do was literally copy the designs and slap their name on it and call it their own 
Oh, you were so just unoriginal, uncreative. I don't even know why <clears throat> you got in a closed space because, well, really nobody asked you to dress them. I mean, you had Dash back in the day. Why you didn't want to bring Dash back from the ashes? Oh, I forgot y'all sold that shit off to some German company. I think the same company that bought Sean John a long time ago. Anyway, how you going to steal somebody's shit and not get them credit for it? How you going to steal somebody's stuff and at least not slide them no money? How colonizer rich of you? Now, I will say, a lot of things is not in your DNA, Chloe. A 19-inch waist and a 30-inch ass is not in your DNA. The Keisha K. Or of it all is not in your DNA. The slim nose is not in your DNA. The 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 the, the fake lips and sculpted face is not in your DNA. That dark hair when you feel like fitting in with your sisters, even though you don't fit in with your sisters because they all five foot three and you six foot four, it, it, it is not in your DNA. But what is in your DNA is to steal, kill, and destroy and take some shit that is not yours and then take credit for it. Well, Dale, guess what, Chloe? Even though your attorneys talked all that shit about Destiny and said she was nothing but a cloud chaser, you guys did settle that $10 million lawsuit for an undisclosed amount. Pace is her money because you clearly took her shit and made way more money out of it. As a matter of fact, we going after these old wrinkled ass reptiles in the government for reparations, but I think it's a lot of black women in the industry and in the culture, period, that need to go after the Kardashians for reparations for stealing and doing the very same thing that they've been doing for the longest and making it cool and trendy. Oh my god. Box, uh, Kim Kardashian box braids. I'm sorry. The same box braids that my ancestors wore. Oh ooh, god. These these interesting knots are going to be in Vogue magazine. Bitch, Bantu knots. That shit is nothing new. But it's new because you take it and put your name on it. It's your lying ass. It's like you think a man is yours just because you pee on him and put your name on it, even though he was just with Lost of Pippin and he was just with his baby mama and just with everybody else. And then you want us to feel sorry for uh, for you when you do the very same thing to you anyway. Uh, glad to hear that sis got her money. Hopefully, you know, she got most of that $10 million. Hopefully, she didn't cave too, too hard. But anyway... Moving right along, we got to talk about our favorite dog fucker here. Des uh, wow, I was going to call him Destiny. Dennis, allegedly, Dennis McKinley. They saying that he got a, excuse me, a new girlfriend. They seen him walking around on Ocean Drive in Miami. I mean, this is a pretty young lady. Um, I don't know if this picture necessarily gives me boyfriend, girlfriend. We're dating and we're smashing. Although, I mean, typically when a woman poses like that with the hand on the chest, she is saying that he is mine. And so she's going to claim that right man titty is hers and so hey it's all good the hot dog man knows how to spoil the woman and he knows how to get a woman to spread her legs quick no condom hey Portia anyway with that being said why in the hell was this a story y'all trying to get y'all trying to convince us to think that Portia and her magical tattoo on the side of her neck that we ain't damn saw is is is, is with Simon and that they're moving on and they're having three weddings and a funeral and this that and the third so if Portia has already moved on why can't Dennis move on because Dennis moved on when Portia was still carrying their baby be in utero. Now, we don't know if he got horny at night and screwed the pooch or if he actually just got other cooch out in Atlanta, but he had been moved on. He had never stopped. He had never sold his bachelor pad. He, he didn't, he didn't want to come out to Duluth, you know, and live in that big ass house in a basement. Now, Portia, you know, part of your relationship falling apart is your motherfucking fault because you never felt this, you never made this man feel like he was a part of your house. You put all his clothes and his stuff in your cold, clammy basement. I sure really would feel it up at all. How you got the top half of your house done and not the bottom? Bottom. And you think this man want to go on a leave from his fly pad with his pool in the middle and holes that he paid because ain't no holes looking at him no other way. He is a hot dog, man. I'm trying to figure out, Portia, why you thought this was ever going to work when you treated him like an outsider. So he decided to stay outside and be for the streets. Anyway, they're, I mean, hey, they're a good looking couple. They, they, they look good. I have no negative words to say. No negative info on this lady here. I can't even remember her damn name. It ain't that damn important. All I got to say is this. You know, all this bullshit that's coming out on social media i don't care i hope the producers over there on bravo is at least catching some of this drama to put in on the show because low-key everything we didn't see on ig in the past one has been way more entertaining than that scam of a show that they call real house lies of Atlanta. moving right along we got to talk about kanye his fat ass head the, the the pack of hot dogs on the back of his head the light bulb that failed it didn't work getting rounder and more rotund by the day and this new woman his new lady friend called it or her name is irana irena 
Irina Sheik, uh, she is at Won the Bread, Won, 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 Won the Bread News. She is a Russian supermodel, and she has definitely been around in the industry. Now, according to the streets, this is not nothing too serious right now. You know, he's just coming out of something, and, and I just don't truly feel like that he is her honest type. I mean, if you look at her past dating history, Irina here used to date Bradley Cooper. Oh, did y'all know this is some real Won the Bread News? Bradley Cooper and Irina dated uh, uh, after he broke up with Suki Wardhouse after he had broken up with what's the brown girl uh, from Colombiana? Bust down Colombiana, bust down Colombiana. What's the name? Zoe Saldana, there we go. And, you know, Bradley Mama made him break up with Zoe Saldana because, you know, you, you can say you were Afro-Latina all day long, but she didn't want, you know, she wanted her babies with their dark hair and blue eyes is what his motherfucking mama wanted. And so at the end of the day, he let that go. He got with Suki, let that go, and they got with Irina uh, or Irina. I don't know how to say her name. And, uh, I'm, uh, anyway, I mean, she's very pretty. You know, she is Russian. Uh, anyway, uh, they, they got one baby together. And then even before Bradley Cooper or after him, I done forgot she dated Christian Young. Ronaldo for a while. So she literally dated, you know, I mean, two of the top bachelors in Hollywood and she's now messing around with Kanye West. I mean, I'm not even trying to be funny, but you got Cristiano Ronaldo, Bradley Cooper, and Kanye West. I'm not really seeing the connection except for the fact that Kanye is a billionaire and maybe she's desperate enough to literally just say, fuck it, I'm going to just mess around with him for the hell of it. I mean, anyway, I do, I, I, I do and I will say this, Bradley Cooper and Irina, uh, Irina I keep messing up her name, uh, uh, broke up because at the time it was rumored when that movie was being filmed, A Star is Born. Y'all remember Lady Gaga and, and Bradley Cooper had that song, Shallow, Shallow. Y'all remember that song? That shit was everywhere and their chemistry was undeniable. Let me give you a little secret of the industry. When you really want to connect with someone and have their chemistry on screen, you screw them before you start filming. Hey, Shia LaBeouf, how you doing? That's why you ain't never been the same you hit that and you break you you get that out the way so that when you guys are on camera the chemistry is actually there the problem is that it's you know you know sometimes you get it and it's really good and you're working around them 12 to 14 hours a day and you ain't going home for three to six months at a time and you mess around and fall in love with them and it messes up your relationships so a lot of y'all thinking is that these actors go on set and the distance is what breaks them up no a lot of them are method actors and you know some of them can separate the sex from the art and some can't and it usually messes up what they got at home with that being said it's been very clear that Kanye has been done with Kimberly and her family for a long time when he went to Haiti and got that hex lifted off the lifted off of him he was ready to go I just still see that Kanye still has not learned it if he's looking for real love right now he might just be looking for a nut and Irina is good for that but she's not the love of his life it's time for him to go home he needs a Chicago girl to keep him grounded I don't think no woman in the industry is going to be able to keep him in his place. He, I mean, I'm, just, I'm just saying he needs a girl from Chicago that can really tell him about himself, but maybe he's avoiding getting a real woman that can actually tell him about himself and handle himself because he likes to be off the handle, out of control, and, you know, just he, he likes to just do him at the end of the day. Anyway, um, th you know, it ain't a couple. It ain't nothing serious. They messing around. You know, he busting her down and busting her out some dollars. He's a billionaire. And at the end of the day, when you a billionaire, you can pretty much get any woman that you want. And it is what it is. You know what? Hey, you, 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 you trade genuine love and affection for looks, I guess. And, you know, I guess that's fine. But will it last? No, probably not. You know, but I guess that's news for now. So with that being said, said those were our topics in this video here we got through that quick in like 22 minutes make sure you guys check me down on patreon patreon.com slash storm on road but links in the bio for all of my sponsors and i will catch you guys later uh, it's storm show hey it's storm show